Steve, walk me through the tail of the tape here. These are two gentlemen, uh, 10 years apart. And Alex Nicholson comes in a little bit heavier this year. A little bit heavier, but he's still a smaller man. He's one of the smaller heavyweights. He's got the reach, though. He's got the arm reach, and he likes to throw big punches. So if he can keep this fight at range where, he, where he'll be more effective, he should get himself some good point stand. Be in good position in the point stand. Six points are on the line, and Lillian Garcia will start these heavyweights off. Fight fans, the action continues with three rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He specializes in jiu-jitsu, standing at 6'1 and weighing in at 246 pounds. In 31 professional fights, he has a record of 22 victories, seven defeats, one draw, one no contest, with 11 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Chaparri, Brazil, here is His background is in kickboxing, standing at 6'4", and weighing in at 229 pounds. In 20 professional fights, he has a record of 13 victories, 7 defeats, with 12 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Apopka, Florida, here is the Spartan, Alex Nicholson! Your referee in charge, Kevin McDonald. It's the big boys again here inside of our Professional Fighters League Smart Cage. Francis Marbojoso out of Brazil in the blue shorts. Alex Nicholson in the silver. Touch of the gloves and worst start. Jab from Nicholson. Inside leg kick misses. Overhand right attempt there from Bodal. The big goat is how that translates. Inside leg kick. Eve, a lot of kicks early here from all the heavy. Yeah, definitely. But that big right hand over the top of Bohoso. He may find a home for that if Alice keeps coming in with his left hand a little low. Faint there for the takedown from Bodal. Answered with a knee from Nicholson. Also switches stances. Big left. And the hands already down for Alex Nicholson. He likes to put on a show. He absolutely does. And kick attempt there from Bajoso. Like Bajoso being a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, high level. He's got Alex Nicholson, I believe, in a very good spot. He, he's throwing these big haymakers, and Alex Nicholson he keeps his hands high. He doesn't drop his hands. And that's a good opportunity for Bohoso to change levels and put him on his back. You know Alex Nicholson wants to throw big punches. He's not shooting himself. An exchange of body kicks there. We heat things up in heavyweight action. Ooh, nice upper hands. And he's responded with an overhand right. Now, what Alex Nicholson said to me that he learned from last season was he learned patience. That's the big, he learned respect for patience. And he does seem to be a little more patient. He's picking his shots. Catches the kick, does Francis out of the hole, so he's got Alex Nicholson on the ground. Hammer fist from the bottom. Alex Nicholson, aggressive off of his back, but now Bajoso, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, in his guard. He's also the larger fighter, and that can prove to be trouble when you're on your back. You got a big guy on top of you, carrying all that weight can be a problem, trying to create scrambles to get out from underneath him, because he can't spend the whole round here on his back. He's gonna give away the round if he does that. Passes to half guard does Francis Matabajoso as Alex Nicholson tries to create a little bit of space. Shoulder pressure from the top here from the Brazilian. And you see the uh, red ribs of Alex Nicholson from that kick. Yeah, nice little, uh, nice little strawberry, strawberry <laughs> raspberry, maybe grape. <laughs> yeah. Nothing there, there, nothing a few there. different fruits in there. The love taps, love taps. Let's take a deep breath. And when he comes up, let's push. 
Nichols. That's a look inside Alex Just Nicholson's corner. Just hold him with the shoulder. Nothing there, baby. He's got Nothing Roger there. Cross. You got to start the build. There's nothing there. You got to Roger's telling him he's got to start to build. He's got to get that left hand with, to fight for the unhook with that left hand and get something in between. But Bojoso is able to pass. And now up against the cage here. He doesn't necessarily have room to take the back, but he finds himself in mount. Nice explosion by Alex Nicholson to get out of it. A bad situation. Right to his feet and a big kick, but it's responded once again back and forth in these striking exchanges. Spinning kick from Nicholson. Another body kick. This time the right leg. Are we spinning now? <laughs> Jab lands and is responded once again. Uppercut misses for the whole song. Pressure coming from Nicholson. But also backing up, trying to maybe draw him in. And there's a big right here. Nick Nicholson put on some size in the offseason. He's a little, he's a lot bigger. He looks a lot more comfortable putting pressure on moving forward. Dual overhand rights. None of them land solid for Fred Simata Mahoso. Worth noting, both of these guys spent a good portion of their career at light heavyweight. They packed off the pounds in recent years. 30 seconds left here in round number one. Inside leg kick from Mahoso. The way Nicholson is coming forward, stalking is it's better than what he was doing last season. It's more calculated, but he's got to use use that jab. Aggression from Nicholson to close things out. An exchange against the cage. Nice knee by Nicholson. Still keeps his hands pretty dang low. Right hand from as much as he's waiting in there. Heavyweights, when we come back. Eve. Alex Nicholson's corner talked about Bajoso timing the overhand off of his kicks. Yeah, Alex Nicholson's got to keep his, his hands high or put something in front of those kicks so that Bajoso can't time when to throw that overhand. Five points on the line for these two heavyweights in Professional Fighters League Season 2. Francis Mar Bajoso in the blue trunks. Alex Nicholson in the silver. And this is better from Alex Nicholson. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see him putting his hands in Bojoso's face as he comes forward. But Bojoso makes the right adjustment. Nice single leg by Ransom on Bojoso. And immediately passes to half. And that's possibly the reason Alex was not firing a lot of punches as he was coming forward. Worried about that takedown. Classic body, body, head there. On the shot the face, on the face. Straight to bound. Don't let him up, don't let him up. Inside the blue corner, Francis Mata Wait, 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 wait. You gotta use your legs, you gotta use your legs. Come on, man. Now you gotta hit him, hit him. Hit him now. Cross the legs, there you go. Now you hit him, now you hit him. Hit him hard now. You gotta strike him now. Breathe, you gotta breathe. He's gonna open up. An unpleasant place for Alex Nicholson on the bottom. And you can hear the guidance from Francis Mavrojoso's corner. Now he moves to a high mount, Randy. And once again, Nicholson scrambles out. He explodes really well there, hip escape. Turns the corner and is able to get to his feet before Barroso can take advantage of, of him giving up his back. But the sweep and Barroso pulls Alex Nicholson straight back to his world on the mat and once again passes to half guard. He's very, very comfortable here. Yeah, that top half guard Alex, you're position is, the whole time, is a but you very good hip. You gotta start moving. He's trying to stall. You gotta get up, though. You gotta escape the hit. Two on one. That is the voice of Rocky Crawley. Escape Crawl the hit. Halfway, Alex. Halfway. The look on Nicholson's face tells me that Bojoso's putting pressure on him with that shoulder, with his head, keeping that pressure against Nicholson, making it very hard for him to, to turn his hips to either side. Covering the mouth of the 
those. That's old school. <laughs> it's an old Mo Smith trick. And right now, Nicholson is flat on his back, shoulder blades on the mat. You do not want to be here against the black belt. Most definitely not. This is where a black belt can be most effective. He's going to advance position. And Kelvin Tiller backstage checking it out. He might pick up a technique or two while he's watching this one. The mama's boy. He's always smiling. That's a great man. You heard the corner of Francois Bojoso when we went back in talking about posturing up, but that's why he doesn't do it. Again. Nicholson, anytime he gets space, scrambles out. Spinning stuff. Just misses with the left hand here. Nicholson knows he's losing. He's lost that round. He spent too much time on his back, and he's really pressing the action now. Still not reckless like we've seen him get, though. Oh, he loses his balance on the kick. He also looks a little bit slower. He catches his leg up on the shoulder of Bodau. Can he get his right leg out and set up a triangle choke here? On the big goat. The big <laughs> goat. What do you think of these strikes from the bottom, Randy? I mean, they're certainly distracting. I'm not sure if they're damaging him a lot, but, but he's doing something. You know, at least force Barroso to move, to adjust. Side control here for Francis Montevajoso in those blue trunks. Nick Nick of the body. Nicholson, Nicholson looked a little weary, I'm sorry, weary as he went down, throwing that spinning back fist. If he's tired, the brain starts to not function properly also. He's not going to necessarily fight and do the proper things that he did in training. He's going to resort to his instincts. Right now, his instincts are holding Bohoso on top of him. A third round when we come back on PFL. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Eve Edwards. In 20 career fights, Alex Nicholson has only been to the third round, round twice. Both of those were decision losses for him. He finds himself here in the third for the third time. Nicholson in the silver, Bojoso, Francis Bojoso in the blue. Both men showing some fatigue in their corners between rounds. Nicholson, he does show some fatigue, but he's gonna come out hard. That's what I expect out of him. Saw it in his eyes in between rounds. He's tired, he knows he's tired, but he wants to win this. He's a, he has a fighter's heart, and he's going to fight hard. I have Barroso up the first two rounds. The takedowns and the ground control really won those rounds for him, so I think Alex knows he's gotta make something happen in this third round. Barroso doesn't look that fresh either. Alex Nicholson is a dangerous guy, though. The reason I would say that is because he's the kind of guy, if he's out in the middle of the ocean and he's trying to swim the land, he's, if he drowns, it's because he failed. It's not because he quits. And that's what he's doing right now. He's trying to win this fight. Right hand from Francis Montevajoso. Uppercut from Nicholson. And that's what his corner was calling for. And another Need uppercut or, or fake and catch him coming in. That one cut Francis Montevajoso a little bit. Bajoso on his back. Can Nicholson capitalize? Likely down on the judges' scorecards. Good right. job by Alex. That is smart, him very up. smart. I think he recognizes Barroso is tired. He also knows that he just hurt him. Make him stand back up. Bloody face there for Francis Amado Bajoso. Still potentially four points on the line of the heavyweight standings. That right hand landed for Barroso. Alex a left from Nicholson, and a right. He just misses. And now Bohoso showing some serious fatigue. Spinning almost elbow from Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, these guys are... Hands down! Nicholson should follow that left kick up with a straight right hand. Fire that left kick to get inside. Straight right hand behind it. Oh, like a left landed for Nicholson. Pure survival by both of these guys. Oh, right hand lands for Nicholson. But down on his back trouble. in trouble. He's in trouble. Does Nicholson have the gas to finish it here in round three? He's got to protect that leg, Eve. He's out. He's out. He's not in trouble with that leg lock, but he should have gotten right he up. Had, yep, wanted... Exactly right. 
You gotta pop up. It doesn't matter how tired you are in this situation. You have to. So right now, Bodau is just gonna lay on top. He's not gonna give him any space. It's gonna make it very hard for Alex Nicholson to get up. Two and a half minutes left in this bout. Both men gassed. Who's got enough left to get the finish here and an extra bonus point? Tell you what, an interesting factor here. This referee has been relatively quick to separate the up, stand absolutely. Up. What Alex Nicholson needs to do right here is Alex needs to take this right leg, get that on the inside here to create a butterfly position. Start pushing Bodau away so that he can work the stand to his feet. Laying flat on his back like he is right now, that's not going to help him. The corner of Bodau just asking for enough action to keep it where it is. Nicholson's got to make something happen here. Nicholson has got to get that right leg out, and he's also got to fight for that underhook on the left with his left arm. It's a bad position. If Alex Nicholson were to get up right now, he would break the spirit of, of, of Francis Barroso. But Barroso laying on top of him right now, he's trying to suck the spirit out of Alex Nicholson. This is all about heart right now. Closing in on one minute left, and you see the grimace on the face of the Spartan. Flat on his back under the larger Brazilian. Shoulder pressure. Sucking for air is Alex Nicholson. Inside of one minute left. This underhook on this side is very important. That's what Alex Nicholson needs. On the left side. Right there, he should punch that left arm under there. his right. He's got to pop now. his hips, but he took it out. He's got to punch that left hook underhook under. Elevate his hips and clear that right leg free. We asked Alex Nicholson if the extra muscle was going to take too much air, to, and right now we've seen him. We've never seen him this tired in the PFL game. Referee standing him back up. And you mentioned this referee had done this in a couple of fights already. Only 15 seconds left to get the job done. Does Nicholson have it, or will it be both down to finish out strong? Spinning kick from Alex Nicholson. An uppercut misses. Botel walks it off. Is it enough for the big goat, Francimar Vajoso? Alex Nicholson back at heavyweight, 15 pounds heavier than he was in season one. That was probably the most fun heavyweight fight that I've seen two guys gas in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have an official decision for you when we come back on ESPN2. After three five-minute rounds in heavyweight action, a look at our Cajunomics, the final fight stats. France Von Rojoso, the takedowns, Randy, I think might be the difference here. I agree. I think the first two rounds go to Barroso. I think Nicholson came back in the third round and had him in trouble, but it was too little too late. It'll be interesting to see how the judges score it, but Eve, walk me, soon with, walk me through some of these replays here. Alex Nicholson was the man coming forward, but right there, but also did the, exactly what he needed to do, change levels, get to those legs, put Alex Nicholson on his back. And when Alex Nicholson throwing that leg up high, looking for that closed guard, that was the problem. Nicholson landed some big shots on the outside. He hurt Bojoso in the set in the third round. He was able, he had an opportunity to finish, but they were both kind of tired. That punch right there bounced off the back of Bojoso's head. And Nicholson was looking to finish, but he was up a little bit high, and he allowed Bojoso to get beneath him, get his head out of trouble, and also threaten with that leg lock to where Nicholson had to pull himself out. Barroso got back on top. That was an opportunity for Nicholson to just pop right up. But, you know, that, that I mean, when you get tired, it's so hard to, for your body to listen to what your brain is telling you to do. And look, adding to the fatigue, we, we mentioned the grimacing of Alex Nicholson. He came over here to the cage side table, indicated that maybe he injured a rib there in that third round. He said first round. First round. He said, I, he, said he broke a rib, but obviously it might be. It's hard to say at this Let's point. Let's hope not. I want to see him in the next round. Absolutely. He's got another regular season fight coming up. Lillian Garcia has the official decision inside of our Professional Fighters League Smart Cage.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. 29-28, Nicholson. 29-28, Barroso. 29-28, for your winner by split decision, earning three points in the heavyweight division, Francima. So it's a split decision. Somewhat of a surprise here, Randy, or? I, I, I mean, you just never know what judges are looking at sometimes. I, I really only saw the third round as a strong round for Nicholson. The other two rounds, he spent most of the time on his back. So uh, I have a hard time scoring it that way. Three points and a decision victory for Francis Montebrojoso to earn a spot in our heavyweight standing. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gonna come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah.